Hello, this is Ariana Antonio for CPM1411, and this is my week two walkthrough. So you can see here that we have my app, as well as the rubric loaded in the background. So uh, first, we're going to go ahead and do user authentic authentication. Uh, so we're going to sign up first. Uh, we will just do the same old username, password, sign up. And then it takes you to a place to add some runs uh, that is currently empty, obviously. And then uh, we can go ahead and I'll pull this up. We can stop it and then we can run it again. And it will keep the user logged in. It's fairly slow, but so you, that user is still logged in. And then uh, we can go ahead and sign out. It will take us back to the login screen. So we'll go ahead and log the user in. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and create some data. Uh, let's say that last month we went on, or last week we went on a run and ran 5.6 miles. Go ahead and add it. And then maybe today we went on a run and Let's say we just did a short one today, 2.6. Uh, so you can see they're both there. Um, so that is creating data. We've got a string, which is the date, and an int, which is the run, uh, the distance. And as, so as you can see, that's creating data. That's also reading data. Um, we can show here. Uh, first, I'll show really quickly user. We have our username. The object ID is this brafs thing. And uh, Brafs as a user ID, whoops, <laughs> um, has gone ahead and created two runs right here. So it is also creating that in the correct place in parse. And then obviously, uh, let's see, in terms of reading data, uh, it is updating here, but if we go ahead and sign out and then sign back in again, I can show you that it is reading whatever is saved for that user. So we've got their data. And then uh, we can go ahead and delete some data. So we'll select this run and delete it. Um, so it is no longer here anymore. And if you go to parse, um, so the 11.6, this top run is the one we deleted. And now it is no longer here either. And obviously it was removed from the UI. Um, so, and I did show, um, that if the user is not logged in, it just goes to the login screen. Um, but if you are logged in and you restart the app, uh, it does still take you back to the same user. Um, so let's see. I believe that actually shows off all of the features for my app. Uh, looking forward to spicing it up a bit in week four. Thanks so much. Bye.